just what I needed. He really is up here. Thank you, Mayor. <laughs> hmm, this must be a barrier that analyzes those who try to walk through it, and will only let people from Arkwright Solutions pass. Aw, if I'd known this was going to happen, I'd have tried sneaking my way into a job, too. I'm so sorry, Elaine. Don't worry about it. I'll leave this in your hands. Just give him a big smack for us, all right? You got it! Then let's do this! Peculiar space. It's a terrifying sight to behold, and yet I feel warm just being here. I've never been to this place before, but I'm feeling oddly nostalgic. Yeah, so nostalgic that it hurts. You gotta be kidding me. What are you idiots doing? You shouldn't be here. Thought I told you to take care of them, Master. Why'd you let them come to this place? You will have plenty of time to berate me for it later. You can't leave us, man! This can't be the only way to deal with that demon. I refuse to accept that. Well, accept it. We're talking about a being that sees the entire world as its enemy. I felt its presence for so long. It's been with me since I was a kid. But I couldn't tell anyone about it. It was a secret I planned to take to the grave. I can't destroy this thing. But I can seal it away in the boundary between here and the beyond. It'll at least keep it at bay for a few centuries. That's the best I can do to protect your futures. So leave me be. This is the choice that I've made. It's not a black or white decision. It's... We're not going to leave you, Van! You may have chosen to come here of your own volition, but we've made a choice of our own! We're taking you back! You know full well I'm not like the cops or bracers. I do things my own way. And that way isn't black, but it definitely ain't white either. Mine's like the color of a dark blue sky just before dawn. I'm not going to become a wholly different person if I stay by your side. I'm very much my own woman, and that's not about to change. Your way isn't black, white, or even gray. You said it's like the color of the dark blue sky just before dawn. But to me, it's like the dawn itself. It's a warm, comforting light that illuminates our way and breaks through the darkest nights. And I never want to part from that light again. We aren't going to let you go, no matter what. <laughs> you want to up and leave us that bad, huh? Well, normally I'd say, eh, that's your call, so long, my dude. But you've still got an outstanding debt, so I'm not letting you bail on me. Yeah, I'll drag you back by the car if I have to. Let us help you, Van. You always stick your neck out for us, so why can't we return the favor? If we were in your shoes, you'd rush to our aid without a second thought. Don't deny it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid he's got you there, Mr. Arkride. I can easily picture that happening. If any of us were in danger, you would move heaven and earth itself to ensure our safety. 
Once a softy, always a softy. Honestly, you should drop the whole I'm not good or bad thing. You're just a teensy bit too young for the weary warrior act, don't you think? Everyone. Why? You have actively forged many bonds throughout this year. I'm afraid this is simply karma at work. Don't think you can run away from them so easily, young man. Master. What's happening? Damn it. This is way too soon. Get out of here now. It's going to... into my mind what in the world what's going on here in this world i am a being known as a vagrant demon lord i am connected to the one you call van Ordra, through a diabolic core the demon that's been residing within mr arkwright must have taken control but why? What happened to Van? My foolish vessel rebelled against me. He sought to shame to the void. The endless passage of time holds little meaning to a being such as myself. However, such boundless arrogance cannot go unpunished. Get out of here! Yes! Will you kindly disappear already? We were talking to Van, not you! We don't care about you in the slightest! So get out of our sight! And return Van to us at once! The Genesis are reacting! What's happening now? I see. So you have their power at your disposal. That explains how that was able to bind me. I think the Genesis are having an effect. Yes, I can confirm that its strength has decreased. Good. I think Van's body is still somewhere inside of it. We just need to weaken it a little more. Just let me at it already. I'll rip it to shreds! Our odds of victory have increased exponentially. Many eons have passed since I last entered the realm of wars. I will strike down all that stand in my way. Face the abyss, insignificant humans. Oh, we'll show you who's insignificant! Your first and last mistake is underestimating us humans! Show me if your deeds can match your words. Displaying enemy stats. I suggest we strike now. Time to close in! Shield! Protect everyone! This is... I shall handle this. Now's a great time for a short boost. Make it count. engaging skill. <laughs> Begin reset. Maximum boost. Time to close in. 
I won't hold back. Energy output maximum. Watch it. They're trying to attack. Cobalt heart set. Activate. Deploying shield. It's go time! Keep it up! It's working! Certain arcs look to be most effective. Time to close in! I travel in the night. There's nothing I can't swipe. Grimcat, at your service! It's go time! Energy output maximum. I hope you're ready. Here's the climax. Grim Knight Long. Boost gauge expanded. No chance. I won't let this chance slip by. Energy output maximum. I'm in top form. Got a lot I want to say to y'all. But that can wait. We got a demon lord to slay. And I'm gonna need everyone's help to do it. Can you give me a hand? Do you even have to ask? Since we're so nice, we'll do it on the house. Leave all your support needs to me. Here, Van! Catch! <sighs> Thanks. Mare! Well, look who's back. Just say the word and I'll do my thing! Okay, let's do this! <laughs> I think it's time for the big bad demon lord to kiss its ass goodbye! What do you say, Van? Yeah. You truly are an idiot, Vessel. If you think you can escape me, was sorely mistaken. In some ways, that thing's an extension of myself. If you guys have got any pent up anger toward me, then let it loose on that thing instead! Will do! 
We won't allow you to hurt anyone else. Prepare to meet your end! Rising drive. Bring the light. It is a seal. I know you want it. No chance. That's far enough. Going all in. Time to close. Visualizing drive. Rising drive. This is your chance for a shard boost. Activate Unleashing full strength. Lance mode activate. Degama driver. Oh, yes. Hold of you. 
a sore loser. Afraid I'm just not ready to give in to you yet. My body and soul are still mine, so do me a favor and scram. Diabolicor. What? Don't touch that! 
We are not doing a repeat of last time! Don't worry. I'm just putting this where it belongs. <sighs> you threw the damn thing?! Is it... finally over then? Yeah. At least, it's over for now. How about we get out of here? In the end, Van came back to us, safe and sound. That marked the beginning of a very busy three weeks that somehow flew by in an instant. We all did what we could to help Van deal with the aftermath of what had happened while making preparations of our own. Then, on the day that the second term at Aramis ended and my winter vacation began, Well, guess this is it, huh? Cleanup after all that took longer than I expected, but glad I still had you all around to help out. Don't even mention it. Juggling the work with my Sunday school exams was hard, but also really fun. <sighs> I still can't believe Almada made such a mess of the Orbal Network. You know it's bad when it takes Professor Hamilton and the others half a month to repair it. Figures, though. Turns out that one of Heiyue's elders was supporting Almada's plan. Explains why Sound Gien showed up here in Edith all of a sudden, though. Wrenches in the gears aside, you all did great. Especially you, Reset. If Marduk hadn't loaned you over, I don't know what we would have done. You're too kind. I'm grateful for the chance to assist you and learn from those experiences. That said, I wish we weren't left with so many lingering questions concerning Mare. Eh, it's not like we learned nothing. But, I'd say that's a problem for another day. By the way, why are you of all people taking a train? Am I not allowed to use public transit? I'm the public too, you know. The expressways always get really busy this time of year, so trains are easier. Hey, hey! That's her, isn't it? It totally is. We shouldn't bug her while she's talking to people. We'll have to snag an autograph when she's done. <laughs> Something tells me you're gonna be busy your whole trip. <laughs> Still, I'm really happy we could see you off. <laughs> well, it's the least I could do. As for you, Master, I honestly don't think I'll ever be able to thank you enough. I'm easily your worst student, and I can't promise that this is the last time I'm gonna cause you trouble. But if nothing else, I think I've finally taken a step forward. And for that, I'm glad. Always remember this, Van. One's journey through life proceeds down a path of endless possibilities. Your path belongs only to you. Hm. But that doesn't mean you must walk it alone.
The paths of those around you cross, intertwine, and run alongside your own. This is a fundamental truth of the world, so it does me proud to see you finally understand it. Sorry for being such a slow learner. <laughs> Man. I believe it'd do us all well to remember those words. <laughs> no kidding. It's the top of the hour and time for the five o'clock news. Normalcy has finally returned to the streets of Edith following the sudden chaos of this year's Revolution Festival. Anyway, it's freezing out here and you've all got trains to catch, so it's about time we wrap this up. If you ever want to shoot me an orb mail, feel free. I'm not much of a writer though, so I may not get back to you. But really, it's been great working with you guys. I'm sure we'll all meet again someday, somewhere. Okay, what's with the looks? Um, about that? I just have a few credits to get out of the way in Basel. I'll be back before you know it. What? Me too. I've got an important role in the New Year's Festival. And since my brother will be home for it too, I want to get in a little training before I return. Hold on. I want to be back in Longport for the anniversary of Mom's death. After I'm done dancing and partying it up through the Lunar New Year, I'll be right back here. Uh, but I thought... In truth, I am only planning to make a report concerning Almada's recent actions and undergo routine maintenance. If it's not a bother, I was hoping to renew our contract for the next term. And I'm still renting that room in your building, so of course I'll be around. Not all the time, though. I'll be crazy busy once my next movie starts shooting early next year. <sighs> I plan to travel around and see my other students, so I will regrettably be away for some time. Speaking of crossing paths, is this not the perfect demonstration? Yeah, yeah, you don't have to beat me over the head with it. And you! I'll bet you knew about this the whole damn time! <laughs> Sorry, consider it your just desserts for lying to us earlier. <sighs> You got God, old fart. <laughs> Let this be a lesson to you. So how are things looking for the school festival? All good? Mm-hmm. All good. We managed to put together a basic plan. We'll leave preparations and putting together a proper budget for around the start of the new year. I'm not just going to lean on Ren for it all, either. I'm going to give it my all. Oh, but I still plan to drop by the office at least once a week. If no one's around to keep you in check, Adios knows how questionable your diet could get. Not like it to be any different from before. Get me. Focus on your studies in the festival. At least we know we don't ever have to worry about Almada coming back. We've still got our fair share of unanswered questions. The Grendel, the Genesis. Uh, not much we can do but wait and see what happens. I'll probably just handle some light gigs in the meantime. Uh, but... Hey, no worries. <gasps> okay, sure, that thing is still inside me. And I have no clue when it might resurface. And when that time comes, I might make the same choice all over again. <laughs> but I know all too well that I've got a group of hard asses here who'd rather go through hell than leave me be. So I'll think long and hard on it next time. No lie. I swear. <laughs> Sounds awful suspicious to me. Though I might believe you if I'm allowed to help you twice a month at minimum. I deserve that. Well, guess that's the best I can hope for.
It's on the outskirts of the 10th district, yeah? We're about 10 minutes from there. Guessing it's a pretty big place? No, not at all. It's just your average suburban detached home. We have a modest garden that mom used to grow flowers and herbs in. She had quite the green thumb. Oh, and we've got our sweet little dog too. His name's Alphonse and he's a good boy. He mostly stays at our official residence these days. I haven't seen him in ages, so I've missed him very much. I'll have to introduce you to him. The two of them should be back home by now. Actually, I wasn't planning to stay. I'm just gonna drop you off and... Wait, what do you mean by two of them? You aren't talking about your dad, are you? Hmm? Of course I am. He was up to the neck in work until just yesterday. But today is the start of his end of year vacation, so we're finally going to spend some time together. I believe he wants to have a talk with you. About your compensation and a few other things. Oh, come on. There's no way he was serious about the pay. That place will be crawling with security. So, sorry, but I ain't gonna... <laughs> Don't worry about that. They only guard the outside of the house, so they'll leave us alone. Also, I've got a delicious Andalusia Winter Tart. Limited edition. You can share it with Dad. I'll brew your coffee while you chat away. You gotta be shitting me. When the hell do you kids get so damn sly?